New laws for Western Australia are made here in Western Australia's Parliament House and they all start life as one of these, a bill. A bill is a draft of the new law, but before it can be discussed by the Members of Parliament, it has to be introduced into one of the Houses. Let's see how it all happens if this bill was first introduced into this House, the Legislative Assembly. This is where the Premier, the leader of the state government sits. And right opposite is where the leader of the opposition sits. The government has more members here than the opposition. That's why they were able to form government. They have what's called a majority. The business of parliament must be well regulated in order for the house to get through its large volume of work. So it's the job of the speaker to keep order and keep track of the rules which are known as the standing orders. Members sometimes present their views in a passionate way and there's often disagreement between members so the speaker may have to make a ruling or decision, a bit like an umpiring sport, and they use the standing orders as a guide. So let's see how this bill is going to become law. The first step is the introduction and first reading of the bill. This bill is being introduced by the Minister for Police and Emergency Services. Mr Speaker, I move a bill for an act uh, to amend the Road Traffic Act 1974 to enable the impounding and confiscation of vehicles in certain circumstances and to make related amendments to the Unclaimed Money Act of 1990 and the Road Traffic Drivers Licences Regulations of 1975 be introduced and read a first time and I present a copy of the bill and explanatory memorandum. The bill is delivered to the clerk, meaning it has now officially entered Parliament. The Minister goes on to explain the bill with the second reading speech. Mr Speaker, I'm pleased to introduce legislation to the House designed to target, target the reckless and selfish behaviour of those individuals who threaten other road users by their continual disregard for road rules and safety. Commonly known as hoons, these individuals continue to be a menace to the law-abiding public who are often the innocent victims of their re reprehensible actions. Quite simply, if anyone willfully engages in the offences contained in this legislation, they will lose the loss of the vehicle they are driving, in addition to any other penalties that currently apply. I commend the bill to the House. All members can receive a copy of the bill so they can study it in detail. After enough time is provided to prepare for debating the bill, it's on to the second reading debate. This bill is introducing what you might know as the Hoon Laws, laws to control reckless driving on our roads. The new laws will be introduced to Parliament next month. The changes will see first time Hoons lose their cars for seven days instead of just 48 hours. The bill contains a list of penalties for drivers who break the road rules, but for it to become law, it helps if the government has the support of the opposition. The first member to speak is the Minister's opposite number, the Shadow Minister for Police and Emergency Services. Member for Kareem. Ma Madam Deputy Speaker, thank you. Um, Madam Deputy Speaker, as the lead speaker for the opposition, um, I would like to indicate that the opposition will be supporting the road traffic amendment in pounding and confiscation of vehicles bill 2004. Other members also present their views in the debate with what's known as speaking to the bill. In conclusion, I will support this bill. I will be interested to, to tease out some of the finer detail in consideration in detail because there are some, some things I'd just like clarified. But I've got to say, Minister, I do support the bill. So it looks like that in this case, the government has the support of the opposition. So can I just once again uh, thank uh, all parties and persons in this House uh, for their support of this legislation. When the debate finishes, the Speaker asks if members will accept the bill. The government's hoping for a majority of aye calls. Members, the question is that the bill be now read a second time. Those of that opinion say aye. aye. The contrary, no. I think the ayes have it. The ayes have it. A bill for an act in the Road Traffic Act 1974 to enable the impounding and confiscation of vehicles in certain circumstances and to make related amendments to the Unclaimed Money Act 1990 and Road Traffic Drivers Licences Regulations 1975. Is leave granted to proceed forthwith to the third reading stage? Uh, we'll now proceed forth. We'll now proceed to consideration in detail stage. Members are now given the chance to discuss and examine parts of the new bill in more detail and to call for changes. If I could just seek some clarification from the minister, this, in essence, if a, a provisional, um, a probationary driver is driving and they are um, 
charged with the offence 62A, causing excessive noise or smoke, it will be an instant disqualification of their licence? It's not an instant suspension of their, their licence, but upon conviction their licence would be cancelled. And as a consequence of this provision, they would then have to reapply for their licence. <coughs> the question is a clause seven standards printed. Those of that opinion say aye. 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 Contrary, no. I, I think the ayes have it, the ayes have it. These kinds of changes called amendments continue to reshape the bill. Members, the question is that clause 12 uh, as amended be agreed to. Those of that opinion say aye. 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 The contrary, no. I think the ayes have it, the ayes have it. Discussion and amendments end when the bill has been fully considered. Does that opinion say aye? Aye. Contrary, no. I think the ayes have it, the ayes have it. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Includes consideration in detail. So, is the bill law yet? Not by a long way. It still has to be read a third time. At the third reading, MPs are reminded of previous discussions, but no new matters can be introduced now. After the third reading, there's a vote, and if the vote's successful, the bill leaves the lower house. The question is the bill be now read a third time. The member for... Speaker. Mr uh, Speaker, um, Mr Speaker, in dealing with the third reading of the Road Traffic Amendment in Pounding and Confiscation of Vehicles Bill 2004, I'd like to place on record that uh, we supported the legislation. We appreciated the fact that the Minister was prepared to accommodate us with an amendment um, that sought uh, to clear up an issue that we had in relation to um, vehicles that were still financed through a financier. Um, so I appreciate that. It was a, um, a good debate. I think we had a real opportunity of bipartisanship uh, shown across the chamber today. Those of that opinion say aye. aye. Against no. The ayes have it. After three readings, surely the Hoon Bill is now law. Oh no, it's now off to the Legislative Council, that's the Upper House, for their consideration. The Legislative Council reviews the bill and can ask for any changes it believes are necessary. No bill can become law until it's been approved or passed by both Houses of Parliament. <coughs> Message number 171. Mr President, the Legislative Assembly having this day passed the Road Traffic Amendment Impounding and Confiscation of Vehicles Bill 2004 now presents the same to the Legislative Council for its concurrence. Signed, F. Reibling, Speaker. The Minister. Message number 100, sorry, 171 be now read a first time. The question is that the bill be read a first time. Those of that opinion say aye. Aye. To the contrary, no. I think the ayes have it. Road Traffic Amendment and Pounding and Confiscation of Vehicles Bill 2004, first reading. The Minister. I move that the bill be now read a second time. I am pleased to introduce legislation to the House designed to target the reckless and selfish behaviour of those individuals who threaten other road users by their continual disregard for road rules and safety. So will the opposition in this House accept the bill as it is? Let's see what they say. You take a car off of somebody in the country and you virtually maroon them. Com the confiscation one does have some problems, uh, but I think uh, that's partly addressable uh, by virtue of the fact that um, it does at least go to a court. A court still has a discretion. Whilst I can see some totally unobjectionable parts of this legislation, I have some doubts about it as it currently stands, simply because I believe that it has it missing from it some of the most elemental protections for those people falsely accused. Oh dear, it looks as if the government has run up against a few hurdles. So how will they react? Uh, I note that members have raised a number of concerns. Um, I've sought to answer them. I may not have placated their concerns, uh, but uh, this is very worthwhile uh, legislation. I think our community will welcome it and therefore I commend the bill to the House. The question is that the bill be read a second time. Those of that opinion say aye. The contrary, no. I think the ayes have it. Members, we now proceed to consideration of the bill in committee. 
At the Committee of the Whole House stage, experts and ministerial advisers who are not members are invited into the chamber to help the parliament fine tune the bill. Any changes are then incorporated into the proposed new laws. Members, the question is that clause nine as amended be agreed to, to which the Honourable Peter Foss has moved to page four lines 16 and 17. Every tiny little change has to be voted on and passed before the bill leaves the upper house and makes its way back to where it all started, the Legislative Assembly. And we have another message number 181. The Legislative Council acquaints the Legislative Assembly that has agreed to the road traffic amendment. The question is the amendment be agreed to. All those of that opinion say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. And yes, the ayes have it. So it's passed. So surely the bill must be law now. Well, almost. There's one final important step of the process. This is the home of the Governor of Western Australia. He's the Queen's representative in the state and no bill can become law without his say-so. Once the bill is signed by the Governor, called Royal Assent, it becomes an Act of Parliament and finally it's a new law. Anyone who breaks it will be in serious trouble. Despite the deaths and serious injuries caused by road crashes in Western Australia, there are some that do not comprehend that their dangerous driving not only places their own lives at risk, but also the lives of their passengers and others in the community.